Laurie always had a poodle when she was growing up, but her dream was to have a Pomeranian. Uh, yes, yeah, so Archie is, is our first Pomeranian. Uh, we, we extensively searched uh, different websites, uh, such as Greenfield and Lancaster Puppies, looking for a Pomeranian. And one day we just happened to see Archie and I believe it was love at first sight for Laurie. And we found Lulu. And Lulu was another dog that we thought would be very compatible to Archie. I happened to be looking one day and I saw Brandy and I know Laurie really likes the orange palms. And Brandy was available and we thought, gee, why, why just have two? Why not have three? <laughs> A Pomeranian is a breed of dog named from the Pomerania region in northwest Poland and northeast Germany and central Europe. Classed as a toy dog breed because of its small size. The Pomeranian is descended from the large Spitz type dogs, specifically the German Spitz. Poms have three layers of coat which make them Arctic dogs. Therefore, they need daily brushing, and cooler temps. Pomps are known to be very smart and beautiful. The three common faces of the palm, the fox, the teddy bear, and the doll. They come in many colors. Due to their small triangular shaped pointed erect ears, they are prone to bacterial infection, so they need to be checked and cleaned with Q-tips as well. When bathing, I use a conditioner to keep their long coat moist and avoid knots. After bath, grooming can be a tedious task. Their nails should be clipped occasionally as they grow long and sharp. Females tend to be very yappy, but great watchdogs. The males can spray, but due to their long coat, not a problem. Palms need daily exercise and lots of attention. Palms don't like to be alone. Archie is my first Pomeranian, first male uh, palm. Um, he has the longest coat. He, as you can see, he's beautiful and highly intelligent. I love him. She's an emotional kind of pet. Well, I often call her Lulu Bell when I wake up in the morning and if I sit on the sofa, she'll jump right on my lap. Brandy is the third dog that we got and um, she is very athletic. Um, she can be sneaky. You see a dumpster. That's a diaper pail. The food and wear bowl. This is their bedding. So this is a fenced in yard and when the puppies were little that was actually a challenge because they would dig under the fence and escape that way unfortunately. Give me your paw. Give me your paw. Archie. Lay <laughs> down. Okay. Roll over, Archie. Roll over. Good. Archie. No. Give me. Give me. The watch. Thank you. Very good. Brandy, sit. Give me your paw. Give me your paw. Yes. Give me your paw. No, you won't be happy. Give me. Okay, roll over. Okay, sit. Paw, paw. Okay. Now I'll get you out of my bed. Lou, did you want
part of the problem, Charlotte, here, okay? Yes, you are. Yes. And then we have another wet dog over here sleeping. This is the post fast segment. Also known as PBS. <laughs> when it comes to grooming a Pomeranian, uh, there, there are three coats. It's kind of thick and knotty. But when I comb them, it's a daily basis. You know, he's a male, so he's got a little layer up there, but it's really behind the ears that gets kind of caught. So he, um, behind the legs, and they may not feel comfortable about this, but this is when, where the knots are. So you might want to focus on the skirt area on the palm. Also do the tail, obviously. Um, they don't like being, uh, brushed or combed, but I, I give them a little treat afterwards. Pomeranians also need their nails clipped um, maybe every, you know, few months. Um, unfortunately, I don't feel comfortable clipping their nails because, you know, you at a certain point they may bleed. So we have it outsourced, which isn't, it's like 10 bucks on up. And also they have a thumb area right here, which if it, get, if it doesn't get clipped, it forms like a little ring and objects can get stuck in that.